My research is all about using herbaceous vegetation which is designed on ecological lines in urban places. One of the questions I, I started asking myself about sort of 20, 30 years ago is was it possible to use current ecological theory to create vegetation which although it did sort of useful and interesting things in cultural environments, it performed like semi-natural vegetation did in the wild. So you got some of the, some of the useful properties such as being immortal, uh, such as uh, continuing to exist in the same place. Uh, the other things I was interested in too was how would the public see that vegetation? Would it be attractive uh, or would they see it as messy and untidy? And so a lot of my work has also looked at this other side of the coin which is actually appearance and how does that, how does that feel to ordinary people? The best known example of this work is at the 2012 London Olympic Park where with my colleague Nigel Dunnett uh, we were the principal planting design and horticultural consultants for the project and, and in addition to some of the more conceptual work we were responsible for delivering approximately 20 hectares of the sort of vegetation type I'm referring to uh, and this was ex extremely successful. Since 2012 the, the work has developed and we've uh, moved on to a whole range of other projects. So we have some uh, work in China, we have work in Australia, we have work in continental Europe and we have a small project in the US. So the, the work's really struck a chord I think with, with urban people.